Hello again and a very, very good... Very good evening. Yes, you are, of course, watching the Planet Cruise TV show. My name's Sean Mann. Do you know, I've had a bit of a hectic week here. I've been all over the place. So it's really nice just to sit down finally today, relax, and look at six outstanding cruise offers. Honestly, we have got some amazing savings tonight. And we're even featuring a six-star cruise as well. And some exclusive offers. Now... A young gentleman you've not seen for quite a while, actually. Chris is back. I think it's been about a year. A year, Chris. over a year now. Nice How to you? see you again. Nice to see you too. Well, it's great to be back on the sofa after all this time. I'm loving it. It's like coming back to old family. <laughs> <laughs> well, Chris, you, you've actually worked for Planet Chris for quite a number of years now. A couple you? of years, yeah. Yeah, and you, you uh, spend a lot of your time in the call centre. You've helped a lot of our viewers book their cruises. But you originally worked with Celebrity, didn't you? Yes, four years on board Celebrity Cruises. Loved every minute of it. Worked nearly every ship in the fleet. All wow. over the world. Wow. And we've actually got Celebrity on the show tonight. Right. As it happens. <laughs> now, um, the call centre's open. Do you still know the number? <laughs> uh, I think he does. Uh, yeah. Well, if you don't know it, it is 0808 um, some of the cruises, and we'll tell you which ones you can now book online as well. And if you've uh, never booked a Planet Cruise before, well, um, first of all, multi-award winning. Uh, your customer feedback is exceptional, actually, isn't it? I often check. and I think currently 96%. Yeah, I, was just, I always hover around 96%. It's even been up to, I think. Uh, 98 I think. Yeah. yeah. So amazing customer service. And, and what is so nice, we've got some exclusive offers for your home. And actually, this show, by the way, if you've never seen the show before, where have you been? We're about to uh, have our 500th episode in a few weeks. So, yeah, we've been with you a long time now. But we're going to start off with Cruise and Maritime. This is actually on one of their latest ships, isn't it? The Magellan. It's a new addition to the yeah. fleet, yeah. Is this adult only, by the way? It is. It is. Yeah. Thought so. And uh, just to let you know, this is actually an offer as a buy one, get one a half price. Now, what we've done, just to make things easy, we've kind of factored that into the price on the screen there. So it's 4 7 5 per person. And actually, I'm just looking, we've got some brilliant single prices starting at just 7 7 9 for this one as well. So, massive savings, saving, uh, I think it works out, £490 per person. But anyway, before we go through the most beautiful item, this actually um, cruises out of Newcastle, by the way, as well. Here's our lovely Glenn, who'll be with you, I think it's next week, actually, to tell you more. Named after the famous Portuguese explorer, Cruiser Maritime Voyages flagship Magellan is reputed to be the friendliest ship afloat. Sailing with just 1,250 passengers, she offers a very real sense of intimacy and a warm, personalised service in a stylish, British, adult-only environment. There are 15 grades of accommodation to choose from and all come with the real star of the ship, your own cabin steward. There's something for every budget, from comfortable inside cabins to luxurious suites, which feature generous balconies, walk-in wardrobes and something everybody needs, your own jacuzzi bar. Cruise and Maritime Voyages really do encourage and welcome solo travellers. And on board Magellan, 150 cabins have been set aside for guests wishing to travel independently. The aptly named Jade Wellness Centre offers you a chance to de-stress and relax. There are hundreds of treatments to choose from, including shiatsu, caviar facials and mineral mud wraps. There are three restaurants on board and all the food is freshly prepared and served with a smile. The Waldorf and Kensington are way to serve and offer scrumptious five-course meals with tasty salads, hearty pastas, fresh seafood and traditional roasts on offer. Night times are awash with variety. You can relax in one of the bars and enjoy some light jazz, or maybe a classical recital, or head through to the theatre for some fabulous production shows, courtesy of the Onboard Theatre Company. There are six different bars to experience with a staggering choice of beverages, brightly coloured cocktails, award-winning beers and owls, wines from around the world, and of course, plenty of bubbly. My favourite, though, is here in Sinatra's, where in honour of old Blue Eyes himself, I always get the drink made my way. Cheers. Well, our Glenn there is a very friendly chap and it's a very friendly ship. Now, what is so lovely with this cruise, no flying or anything like that, you can take as much luggage as you like and... We're cruising out of Newcastle as well, so if Southampton's a long way from where you live, Newcastle might be a great port for you. So, and Chris, you were saying uh, the port's near the metro, is that right? Yeah, it's probably about 500 metres to the metro station. You can get there nice and easy from Newcastle Centre. Oh, so great. if you've not been to Newcastle before, nice and easy. Well, here we go then, an easy start. Um, 
And where, where are we um, cruising to, first of all, in Grace? So after Newcastle, we head on to Dundee, famous for uh, Stirling Castle. You can also head on to Glamis Castle. And you can even transfer on to Edinburgh for a day visit uh, with, um, with their excursions. After that, you then have a nice day at sea, heading up to the Norwegian fjords where you take your first sea day into the fjords. Now these are sea days, you're not touching onto the land, but actually the real highlight is the cruising through. Oh, Have you ever yeah. done a, a I, fjord cruise? Twice. Twice, yeah. yeah. I've done one as well. It's, uh, the, isn't it amazing? Yeah, you don't need yeah. to touch on the land, the beauty is sailing through. It is, yeah. and I even got up early, I mean I'd even get up sometimes at four in the morning just to see the view. And that's, Perfect. That's very unlike me. And you'll pass through little villages. So you go through Ulvik is one of the little ports that you touch on. Uh, all the way through there you're going through Hardanger Fjord, uh, and excuse my pronunciation, pronunciation here with these Norwegian uh, fjord ports. Uh, Ida Fjord is another one that you're touching on. Uh, and then the next day you head on to uh, Songna Fjord. Uh, that's uh, heading through into Flom. Flom is uh, one of the ports that you turn in around and head back out again. And then on to Nyre Fjord for another day and, of scenic cruising. And, and I cannot explain, you know, these pictures are, are wonderful, but actually when you're there and just honestly, the, the, the depth of the fjords and the, the scenery and the fresh air. I mean, they are absolutely magical. They, well, they really were, are. They were created in the Ice Age. They, they've been there hundreds and hundreds and thousands of years, uh, formed by, by ice that's melted over time and it's created this dramatic scenery. It's amazing. Yeah. It's outstanding. Now, we're moving on to Bergen next, isn't it? Bergen, yep, home of Edvard Grieg, the composer. So you can head over to uh, his birthplace and home. You can then take a cable car up the side of the mountain. Bergen itself is quite that, flat. Is that, that, that was at the back there, sorry, wasn't yes, it? Yes, that's yeah. right, yeah, that's the one. On the previous picture there. Yeah, that's the one, exactly right. At the very back. Uh, so that's the cable car, you get to see all the scenery for Bergen. You can also do a day trip back over to Hardanger Fjord, but take it from the roadside and see down into the fjord, just for another perspective. And Absolutely that, gorgeous. I think I remember a really good fish market there as well. Yes, that's yeah. right, yeah. Absolutely. I'd, and then uh, a final day see. That's it, and heading back to Newcastle. Yeah, and honestly, can, it's, a, it's, it's a wonderful experience. Yeah, and you can park at the port, you can take the metro, there's absolutely no stress in this cruise at all. Um, and remember, if you book tonight, you're actually saving £490 off the brochure price. Um, and a deposit only for this one. Oh, and don't forget, if you'd like to book online, now, not all of the, the offers tonight are online, but this one you can actually book online as well. But uh, I have cruised myself with Cruise and Maritime and they're a really friendly company, aren't they? It's That's it. This is actually the largest of the fleet, but still, it's a very intimate atmosphere. You get to know the bartenders, you get to know the waiters. It's a very personal service. And um, the price tonight, don't forget, it's actually a buy one, get one half price. We've factored that in, so we've actually worked out the, the price per person from that. And we've got uh, prices on this one starting at 475. I've got to say the singles are really good as well. So if you are one of our solo um, passengers, they do start at 779. And I've got to say, um, August and September will be a beautiful time to visit the fjords there. So just to recap, uh, as we mentioned, we, we've worked out those savings for you. So it starts at 475, saving 490 off the brochure price and that single special. They always go quickly on the show, just to warn you, they start at just 779 tonight. And I mentioned you can actually book this on the website. Um, you know, a lot of you will call in, but if you do want to book it on the website, there you go. Book now. So I much prefer booking online sometimes. It's nice to chat to us, but it's easy at three in the morning when you want to take a nice last minute cruise, just to <laughs> yeah, hop on the web. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, at least, uh, at least you've got the choice there at home. Now, I'm, I'm just pausing because um, I've, I've not been to uh, Dubai. It's on my wish list. I think I'd love it. In fact, I know I'd love it. Um, I actually think the offer we've got tonight with, with Royal Caribbean is the best that I've ever I've seen. And do you know what? I would actually book this, but I'm actually already away on a cruise in January. So I, I can't do it. But this is a brand new price reduction and it works out under £74 per person per night. That's for Dubai, Abu Dhabi, it's with Royal Caribbean. I just, I'm trying to work out what the flights would cost. And the great thing is, looking at the dates, you know, January, the most miserable month in the UK, you're going to get some absolutely wonderful weather. And again, we've got some great uh, single prices on this one and regional flights available for just a small supplement. 
So, honestly, it's one of the best. We know this is going to go very quickly. We've got Kat from Planet Cruise with us. She was saying how, how well this is going to go tonight. But let's take you on board the vision of the seas with Royal Caribbean. Chris, you were telling me that the vision of the seas is about to be refurbished. Is that right? Yes, that's right. November of this year is going into what we call a dry dock. That's where they take it out of the water. They do a complete rehaul of the ship, freshen wow. it up, carpets, paint, maybe new facilities. They really look at the whole thing. It's a multi-million pound, pound project. So she's going to be really nice and you when you cruise on her in January or February. Yeah, two months later. Yeah. Um, now, food with Royal Caribbean is always excellent, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. You've got the, the main dining room, you've got more casual options like the buffet, but then you've also got uh, options where you can pay a supplement and those are really, really special uh, occasions. I definitely recommend a zoomie on the top deck with all the views. And, and I'll tell you what, I love the entertainment. I'm really into my shows and things like that. All of this is included, of course, and they're really good with Royal Caribbean, aren't they? Absolutely. It's really designed for absolutely everybody from young and old alike, they look after everybody day and night. Yeah, they do. And, and you, yeah, you will never, ever be bored with Royal Caribbean. Um, it is your floating resort. You've got wonderful, uh, say, restaurants, bars, entertainment, great facilities. Um, and if you just want to relax, I mean, you know, the weather is, is going to be great. So you might just want to sunbathe. Absolutely, yeah. It's going to be the nicest time of year to head to Dubai and Emirates. Yeah, I'll be honest. Some sometimes of the year it would be too hot for me because I honestly I've got the worst skin. It just honestly it just it sees the sun and it just goes red and peels and falls <laughs> off. But no, it does. But this time of year it's kind of mid twenties, isn't it? Yeah, I would say mid uh, to late twenties. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's so. Right. Great, actually. Anyway, let's. Um, let, I don't know this part of the world, so it's on my wish list. So, over to Chris, it starts off with a flight to Dubai, doesn't it? That's right. So, there's an overnight flight to take you out there. You then uh, land the next morning. Uh, from there, you'll head straight to the port and board in Dubai. The next day, you head on to Kassab in Oman, where you've got temples, and it's actually one of it's actually a fjord port. We were just talking about yeah, Norwegian we were. fjords. Uh, these are Arab fjords. They call it the Norway of of the Emirates. Uh, nice, nice day to just head out on a boat and, and see the, the spectacular landscape there. So these are warm fjords. <laughs> yes. <I think. laughs> then you head on to uh, Muscat for an overnight. Uh, there you absolutely need to go to a souk market, uh, bargains galore. Uh, the, the most intense experience going to a souk market, but uh, definitely one to tick off the list. You've got the great mosque there as well, definitely one to, to check out. And during that time, you, the gangway is open 24 hours, so you can head off, enjoy a nice meal in the evening, and uh, head back on. It's open 24 hours, so you can head on and off as much as you like. You then head on to Abu Dhabi. Now, if you think Dubai's got money, check out Abu Dhabi. It's even more rich than, Abu, than uh, Dubai, and it's apparent from the moment you step off. The most opulent scenery you'll ever see. Definitely head along the waterline to the uh, mall there, right by the water's edge. Uh, one of the largest malls in the world, and you've also got uh, the Grand Mosque, uh, Sheikh, uh, Sheikh Zayed, the uh, Grand Mosque in Abu Dhabi there, and of course Ferrari World, if you're, course, uh, you're into yeah. cars, then uh, that's one for the boys, definitely. Uh, after Dubai, uh, Abu Dhabi, you've got an overnight in Dubai to finish off, so maybe you didn't get enough time at the beginning of the cruise, you've got 24 hours to enjoy yourself right there. Again, plenty of malls. Uh, make sure you go to the Palm to check oh, out yeah. uh, the Atlantis Resort, famous for its uh, water park. Obviously, the Palm is man-made by the Emiratis, and uh, there you've got the Burj Al Arab. You can go shopping there as well and enjoy a nice six-star, two hundred dollar cocktail. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> or you could go back to the ship and have one there. <laughs> yes, okay. um, so yeah. yeah. I say I've never been to this part of the world, it's on the wish list. Chris, you must have booked this uh, similar item in many times for our viewers. Is this one of the best prices you've ever seen? Oh my gosh, absolutely. Isn't it? I mean, those flights, the, as you say, the flights alone are going to cost 400 each. I, I, I thought genuinely so, yeah. don't know how they've done it this no. time, but uh, um, flights, transfers and full board, yeah. But it is going to go so quickly. I know my, my producer, um, Evie, she, she went away to um, Dubai for four days at Christmas and spent double that. You know, actually, it wasn't at Christmas, it was just before Christmas. So, yeah. you know, you really do need to, um, you know, to book this one tonight because it is an amazing offer. That lead date there is the 8th of January. In fact, one of the dates is the 22nd of January, which, generally speaking, is one of the most depressing days of the year. So, like, it is, honestly. <laughs> You know, it's a horrible <laughs> time. So let's get away. Let's get some sunshine. Um, 
all of these dates, they're very similar actually in terms of price. Uh, they're all hovering around about 589, 639 for the 15th of January. But single specials on this one are really hot as well, starting there at just 8 five nine for those single dates there now let's just remind you what's included on this one um, as i mentioned massive savings i don't know why it's so good but it is really good tonight you know it's uh I should say, I don't know why the prices have dropped so much, but they have. So, huge price reductions. Singles, as I mentioned, starting at 8.59 as well. Return flights, they are based on London Heathrow there. And if you are, um, you know, somebody that doesn't live near Heathrow, maybe Manchester, Birmingham, Glasgow, we have got supplements of just £100 per person to get flights from those airports as well. Um, I would definitely get on the phone lines tonight, 0808 250 Are the phone lines open until 10.30, Chris, tonight? Absolutely. The staff are there waiting for you. Uh, I know it's been busy already this evening, but, uh, yeah, they're waiting to take call, yeah. and that one's bound to be a popular one for sure. And it is obviously it's a UK-based call centre. Where, where are you based again? Portsmouth. Yes. The busy port of Portsmouth. <laughs> <laughs> but they are a great team, and I think what's important, you know, everyone that works for Planet Cruise, everyone that will be answering your call will have been on the ships, they'll have experience of cruising. People like Chris, who's worked on the cruise ships for many, many years. And that's, that's why the customer service gets such great, great feedback. Anyway, that one's really good, isn't it? Mm. Now, um... We're going to um, move on to Norwegian Cruise Line next, uh, and it's a ship that I was on quite a few years ago, the Norwegian Jade, but again, she's been refurbished, isn't she? That's another one that's going to be refurbished right before the uh, sail date, so you're going to have a nice fresh ship to go on. Wow, okay. she's been refurbished in March, is that right? That's right, exactly. Yeah, and the date on this is the 22nd of May. Now, this is a really, really nice cruise. For those of you that don't want to be thousands of miles away from uh, home, this is all around the, the British Isles, and actually, what I, see, I'm always drawn to this, you know what I'm like at home, it's got a free upgrade to all inclusive. Okay, so <laughs> <laughs> that always works for me. But anyway, we'll tell you more. But here's Keith and Glenn on board just to show you around. If your idea of a cruise is dim lighting, string quartets, tuxedos, and ballroom dancing, then prepare to be challenged because this cruise line is so laid back, it's almost horizontal. Welcome to the most fun and relaxed cruise experience you're ever likely to encounter, where the entertainment never stops and the excitement just keeps on building. Welcome to Freestyle Cruising. Welcome to Norwegian Cruise Line. There's more restaurants than days of the week, and you can enjoy food from all over the world and dine and dress as you please. From trendy French bistros to steakhouses and sushi bars, Norwegian Cruise Line offers tons of choice. If you're a vegan, vegetarian, high carb, low carb, or gluten free, it's all covered. Remember, this is freestyle cruising. So, wherever your mood and whatever the occasion, there'll be a bar that fits the bill with sports bars and whiskey bars, martini bars and champagne bars, alfresco bars and wine bars, bars with music and bars with sport, even ice bars. One thing's for sure, you definitely won't go thirsty. Imagine playing Nintendo Wii on a two story high screen or challenging a friend on the all new Aqua Racer. Visualise eating world-class cuisine while acrobats tumble down on silks around your table. Or simply enjoying a beer as comedians make you smile with dedicated comedy clubs. Picture yourself singing along as dueling pianos compete or settling into your own seat for one of the Tony award-winning shows. Whether you're a single cruiser, holidaying with all the family or planning a group cruise, you'll find something perfect for you. Norwegian Cruise Line offers one of the widest selections of accommodation in the industry. There are exclusive suites where you have your own private sun deck along with brilliant interjoining family staterooms that are cleverly located near all the kids' facilities. And balcony staterooms where you wake up to a different view every morning. But it's in the studio staterooms where Norwegian are head and shoulders above the competition. A private complex dedicated to solo cruisers with most importantly, no single supplement. Yeah, some, uh, some great, great features with uh, Norwegian Cruise Line. And, and, I, and what I love is the fact that it is freestyle. There are you know, lots of restaurants without set dining time and things like that. So it's a really relaxed atmosphere. And don't forget, if you do like a tipple, I'm looking here, you do get a free upgrade to all-inclusive on this one. And it's not, you know, I, I do joke a bit about, about alcoholic drinks on board, but it isn't just alcoholic drinks. You do get, you know, lots of your soft drinks and often you'll get things like specialty coffees, depending obviously which, uh, which cruise line, but it's a really good drinks package. It works out uh, £82, under £82 per person per night. 
But let's uh, let's show you where you're going to be travelling to. Do you know, I'm ashamed to say, a lot of these ports I've not been to. You know what? In four years, me neither. I mean, isn't, <laughs> isn't it shameful when you live in the UK? I've been to Southampton, though. <laughs> yeah, many what, yeah, many times. But you know what? That's the beauty of it. You wouldn't you wouldn't necessarily think of this one straight away, but actually, you've got all this stuff straight on your doorstep. You know? Well, we are we're making our way to Guernsey, and I have been to Guernsey a couple of times on a cruise, and I love Guernsey. Beautiful. Couldn't tell you anything about that you've one, never unfortunately. Been? No. Oh, love it. Honestly, it's really, really beautiful. Um, I got, I just got um, the, the, the bus is a pound wherever you want to go. Oh, seriously, it's just a pound. Right, wherever you want to go. So I just um, hopped on the bus and uh, yeah, had a little tour of Guernsey. Lovely bars, lovely restaurants. It's it's a gorgeous place. Wonderful scenery, um, and they do get some really nice weather there in general as well. So yes, that would be my advice in Guernsey. So um, yes, you've got to go, Chris. <laughs> yeah, it's next on my list for sure. Uh, then you head on to uh, Portland, back into the England, where you've got some beautiful scenery on the uh, coastline. You can see these gorgeous little coves. No one around on these beaches. Mm. Perfect little seaside fishing villages as well. Uh, then you move on to Cork in Ireland. Cork is the 2005 capital, uh, Europe capital of culture. It's one you wouldn't necessarily think of on a, on a UK island cruise, but it's definitely a, a good stopping point. To grab your first Guinness, I guess. Oh, definitely. Uh, yeah, have yeah, a little wander the streets. There's a nice mixture of old and new when you walk around the streets as well. You then head on to Dublin. You've had your first share of Guinness. Why not head to the Guinness factory to have your second Guinness of the cruise? Uh, you can walk around the streets there as well. You've got Bar Temple. Uh, famous for its uh, drinking drinking area, of course. Uh, my little tip, actually, is to head to a, a tiny little town called Malahide, which is very close by. Malahide Castle is just a short trip on the train. Uh, really scenic. There's no tourists there at all. It's, it's a really nice day out, actually. So I've never, can you believe I've never been to Dublin? Oh, gosh, we need to go on this one. It's terrible, terrible, <laughs> terrible, isn't it? Uh, then on to Belfast, Northern Ireland, where right by the port you've got the Titanic Museum. Uh, you, I would be interested in seeing that. Absolutely. Yeah. The, 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 just the building itself, the architecture is, is gorgeous. Uh, you then head, uh, sorry, then you've got the uh, causeway, the steps there, and uh, Belfast Castle. A nice, uh, nice and easy one to get to right in the city centre as well. Uh, after that, you head on to Kirkwall. Oh, sorry, you've got a sea day before that to relax after all that Guinness. <laughs> uh, and then on to Kirkwall in the Orkney Islands. A nice little uh, kept secret Kirkwall. It's uh, a tiny little island in the Orkneys uh, where you can head to the Scapa distil Distillery, a nice whiskey distillery, uh, to spend the afternoon sampling the, the local flavours there. You're taking us to all the boozy places, Chris, aren't Oh, you? I'm sure there's lots of culture, but I couldn't tell you about that. <laughs> uh, then on to uh, Inverness, where you can head to Loch Ness, see, see Nessie, and uh, on to Inverness Castle as well. And then finishing off the trip with a day trip to Edinburgh. And of course, no trip to Edinburgh is complete without a trip to Edinburgh and, Castle. And yes, I have been to Edinburgh a few times and absolutely beautiful. Gorgeous. Yeah, really I spent like 15 it. minutes there on the way through to Glasgow, but I really want to go back. Oh, it's absolutely outstanding place, actually. Final day to see and then back to Southampton as well. So again, you know, if you're somebody that, that maybe doesn't like the idea of travelling abroad, you know, maybe it's it's a problem for you to be abroad. This is great. And also, what is amazing, uh, I think we've all looked there and thought, God, there's so many places in the British Isles, beautiful places we haven't even seen or visited. Um, only a deposit only tonight, and so we have got that free upgrade to all-inclusive. Oh, and if you do book an ocean view uh, and above, you will also get free Wi-Fi, of course, as well. Let's just show you, um, I mentioned about the drinks package. Um, they do vary from... Um, cruise liner to cruise liner, but this particular one includes spirits and cocktails, wine by the glass, bottled or draft beers, and your fountain soda and juice there as well. So that, that's what this particular one includes. And uh, remember, that is a free upgrade to all-inclusive, free Wi-Fi if you go for an ocean view, and a great single special price as well for only $1,499. Um, now, you might, I know we've got lots of regulars tonight, some of you have been watching now for eight, nine years, but you might be a viewer that's never been on a cruise and you've, you've watched the show and thought, shall I book one? I, I can only say from, from my own experience and people that I talk to, that once you've actually experienced a cruise, you will be hooked. Because the service genuinely is outstanding. It's unlike any service you get in hotels and restaurants here in the UK. The food is outstanding. The choice is incredible. You'll never just be 
um, you know, stuck in one bar, one restaurant. You know, hotels are actually really boring. A cruise ship isn't. You've got so much variety. And then there's all the shows that you can watch and enjoy. Then there's all the different places you see in your one holiday, you know, all these wonderful ports, and then lots of tours and excursions. So they really are out of this world. And the standards, you know, when you go to a hotel, quite often you'll see things that are a bit shoddy. The care and attention to cruise ships is incredible. You know, they're, they're on a constant maintenance programme, so they really are immaculate and they are beautiful. And um, say, we would just love you to book your first cruise. Now, if you haven't seen anything like it so far, stay watching. We've still got another three cruises to tempt you with. But actually, Planet Cruise can find you any cruise with any company, any length of cruise. You know, they will find what's right for you. Just call the team. And if you want to make the deal, you know, that on one of the shows a little bit different, then just ask them. Maybe we can change the flights. Maybe we can add hotel stays for you. We've also got a brand new brochure as well. So if you want to order that, just go on our website, click on and we can uh, actually send you that as well. Um, anyway. <gasps> okay, we're, uh, we're going right to the very top now, right to the very best. We have a six star cruise. May maybe like me, you've done the four stars, you've done the five stars, and you go, oh, I wonder what a six star cruise would be like. Well, tonight we've got Silver Sea and it's an exclusive offer on the show as well. Shall we have a little look? Be rude not to, wouldn't it? Absolutely. Come on, let's go on board the Silver Wind. Now, what? this ship is, uh, I mean, we've talked about two, 3,000 guests as kind of standard in the cruise industry now, with, with ships getting larger and larger, some 6,000 guests. This one, 300 guests. Is that all? 300 oh, guests. Oh, my word. Every single suite, and I'm saying suite, there's no staterooms on board, it's all suites, uh, have a butler. They come with a butler, they come with a home and housekeeping team. So you're really, really well looked after. Not like anything you've experienced on, on ships before. All of these are all inclusive as well, so you get a choice of, uh, well, a wide selection of drinks in your room, in the bars. You can also have in stateroom dining as well. Uh, all the dining is included. Actually, there's, there's one restaurant there that you, you pay a supplement for, but that's just because it's uh, just a, such a small uh, restaurant. And there aren't any inside rooms either. Every room has e at least a view. Uh, there's a very small window, uh, a small number of window suites. And then after that, everything is veranda or better. And actually, the, the smallest room on the, uh, the smallest suite on the ship is the, the um, Vista suite. And that's the size of a mini suite on, on regular cruise wow. lines. Wow, so uh, loads of, <laughs> loads of, uh, of extra space and only 300 passengers. Did you say Incredible. 300? 300, exactly. Wow. Over two to one. Uh, ratio of uh, I, crew to guests. Now we don't feature Silver Sea very often and, and generally speaking they're, they're only on the show when we've got a really great deal and, and, and this this is it tonight, it, it really is. And um, just looking, you're actually away 11 nights in total. Oh and I forgot to mention by the way, if you book before the, let me just check, the 20th of September, so that's a week's time, you'll get a free Bulgari gift set and also every booking will get a free Fortnum & Mason champagne and chocolate gift box. They're, they're, they're lovely, but they are quite pricey normally, so you will get that included as well. But um, let's, let's show you where you're going to be cruising to. We well, starts off with a flight to Barbados, and we actually stay here in a, in a hand-picked hotel for three nights, don't we? Absolutely. So we've got... Uh, Not yeah, a bad start. <laughs> yeah, start, off, start off nice and easy, I'd say. Uh, it's nice you get over the jet lag, you're then ready for the cruise on the same time zone. You've got that time at your leisure as well, and Barbados is a really nice one to uh, oh, explore. Yeah. Even just Bridgetown, where the, where the port is, that, that takes a whole day just to wander around the little unique, uh, unique stores around there. So, three, you know, you've got three nights in the four-star hotel. And I mean, the beach is going to be beautiful, the sea is going to be gorgeous. Absolutely, it's, it's, it's paradise. Oh, it is. I mean, you know, if, you, <laughs> if you've never been to Barbados, I, I promise you, you will absolutely love your time there. You'll just chill out, you'll forget all of the troubles back at home. But then you're transferred from the hotel <laughs> to the port and you're going to be on the beautiful Silver Wind for seven nights. So as soon as you step on board, you meet your butler and they take your suitcase. You don't see that until the evening. They, they look oh, after lovely. that. Uh, straight away from Barbados, you sail on to Beccia. Now, these are ports that you wouldn't see on these larger ships. The, only the tiny little ships can, can fit into these, these small spaces. So they're probably going to be quieter, more intimate. They, you know, they're not going to be crowded, are they? Forget your St. Martin, St. Thomas. There's, yeah. there's none of that. I this mean, is... they're lovely, but they can be quite busy. But they, you know, most of the big ships will not be able to get here. No, no. And, and you'll see that there's no traffic around. 
it's there's not even really oh. tourism. It, you know, it's it's kind of untouched. It, it's gorgeous. Chris, After, I'm getting closer to booking this one already. <laughs> <laughs> so where's next? After uh, Becky, you head on to St George, the capital for Grenada. Grenada. A nice little place in the Grenadines. Uh, make sure if you're a, a snorkeler or a scuba diver, you head to the underwater sculptures. They're, they're uh, something uh, UNESCO heritage site. The whole of Grenada is built on a volcanic crater as well, so you can see from every part. Oh, there, there are the uh, underwater sculptures. Wow, they're Look at really? that. I'd, I'd, yeah. Is, uh, have you seen anything like that? No. Before? Crazy. I mean, they're kind, of, they're kind of quite haunting, but fascinating, aren't Absolutely. they? Absolutely. And there are multiple trips. If you don't fancy the snorkeling, you can do a glass bottom boat out to those. Definitely, definitely, definitely go and see those along the way. Uh, the next, time, next day, you head on to Kralendike, which is part of Bonaire. The, the ABC Islands, Bonaire, Rubo, Curacao, those are a must, and you're actually touching on all three during this trip. Uh, part of the Dutch Antilles, so uh, the first language is actually Dutch. Uh, second closely is, is English, of course. Everybody speaks English on the island, so you don't have any, any language problems. And again, absolute paradise. If you can snorkel, go ahead and do that because you'll see animals there that you won't see anywhere else in the world and, and coral reefs. And it's just a, a, a nice tranquil place to stop before you move on to Orangestad in Aruba. And similar to uh, Bonaire, uh, absolute crystalline waters. You can see right down into the sand. It, I mean, it, it, you can see all the animals from the boat. You don't even need to snorkel. It's, it's all there for you to enjoy. Just, I mean, just, it's just paradise, isn't it? Absolutely, definitely. Oh. Yeah, and then this, on it's to, looking good as this one. <laughs> yeah. Where next it, Chris? And then on to Willemstad, Curaçao. Uh, similar again on the ABC Islands. And then a nice sea day back to Bridgetown, Barbados. Wow. Um, and we honestly have got an, an amazing offer on this tonight. Uh, it is a, an exclusive offer for tonight's show. We are going to give you, say, the Bulgari gift set as well. The uh, Fortnum and Mason champagne. And, and Chris, you know, I've, I, I've been very lucky. I've done many four and five star cruises. But when you go to this next level, the six mm. star, it is a completely different experience, isn't it? You, I, I think you'll have trouble going back, actually, after yeah. you've, you've tried something like this. Um, and, don't, and, and one thing that, that you often might, might worry about, is it going to be too, like, too stuffy and formal? And it's not like that at all, No, in it? fact, they don't have it's formal not, nights. No. It's, it's all smart, casual. They're kind of, it's kind of country club style, if you yes. like. It's, it's kind of smart, refined, but not stuffy in any way. It's, uh, yeah. and, and just looking at what's included, because actually the value gets even better when you break this down. Now, that, this includes on-board gratuities, they're all included, and Wi-Fi throughout the ship. Complimentary beverages. Now, they're served throughout the ship, so that's fine wines, champagnes, spirits, beers, bottled water, specialty coffees, soft drinks. Also, uh, your in-room bar and refrigerator, that's stocked with your preferred beverage selections as well. So you've got your own mini bar, basically. Uh, alternative dining options, multiple venues of those. But the service, that's for all ships, all guests, I know. Uh, amazing. A uh, complimentary 24-hour room service, uh, complimentary transportation into town in most ports of call as well. And don't forget, one crew member, nearly one crew member for every guest. Now, all the rooms have gorgeous views. They've all, they're all ocean view suites, and over 85% will have private verandas as well. And it's open seating again. You won't have to be, you know, given a, a set time or a, an assigned table. No, it's open seating as well. Now, an amazing price tonight. I mean, even if you're just interested, give us a call on that, that free phone number and every single one of you will get a free Fortnum and Mason champagne and chocolates gift box. Uh, for tonight's show, if you book before the 20th of September, you'll also get the free Bulgari gift set. And, of course, you've got that three-night stay in that wonderful hotel in Barbados as well. Oh, and I'll tell you what, um, it's really nice. I am seriously tempted with that one. Really am. But we also have a taster cruise as well. Have a little uh, peek at this one. And it's a brand new deal from uh, Silver Sea. It's a luxury taster cruise with Grammy Stay. So it's uh, uh, in total a seven night cruise and stay with uh, the Vista Suite starting at 1899. Now that includes three nights uh, in Miami and then a fantastic mini cruise. That's a really nice. Nice way to dip your toe in the water, as it yeah. were. Yeah. You know, just to try out the brand of the cruise line, uh, try us out as maybe as maybe this is your first time booking a Planet Cruise. There's a nice little way to 
to treat yourself and, and experience one of our tailor-made packages. And actually, these are these are tailor-made by us. Both of those, both of those packages, okay. actually. So if you wanted to extend your time in Miami, if you want to extend your time in Barbados on the last package, no problem. Just let us know if you want regional flights, if you want a certain hotel on the islands. That's absolutely fine. We can we can do that very easily. Well, my birthday is the 20th of December, so I'm thinking I could do that. <laughs> maybe just have an extra day in Miami at the end or something. Can I? So far, you've booked onto three of these tonight. Oh, I'm terrible. <laughs> Seriously, I, I mean I. If, you know, when I'm retired, I think that I, I'm hoping that I'll be able to, you know, a few cruises a year, and, you know, yeah. nice. Lady, I've not done too badly. I'm very lucky. I'm very lucky. <laughs> anyway, we've better move on now. I am a big fan of celebrity cruises. Chris worked on celebrity cruises for four years. Mm -hmm. So, um, needless to say, we are big fans of celebrity. And, uh, um, oh, actually, Chris, before I forget, didn't Celebrity win another award last night as well? Absolutely. They won uh, Best Dining at Sea at the uh, Food and Travel magazine. And it's the third year in a row that they've won that award. I mean, wow. that says it all about the quality. Wow. Um, and I'm, I'm really pretty sad I'm going to be on the uh, Eclipse uh, at the end of the week but only for a few hours. <laughs> <laughs> but you can be on board for 10 nights with this one. So uh, let's have a little taster of the beautiful five-star modern luxury that is the Eclipse. That is real grass, by the way. Absolutely, and there are two lawn keepers to every Solstice Star ship, and they, as you say, it's, it's absolutely real. It gets battered by the wind, and they maintain it absolutely it beautifully. It always looks perfect. I don't know when they do it, but it always looks perfect. They're out there night and day, they I can must tell you be. that. No, Modern Luxury, that absolutely describes the brand. It's, uh, it's perfect for families and couples. They've got areas for everybody. You can see there the Persian Garden, that's, a, that's an adults only area. The library, the nice thing about it is there's lots of little nooks and crannies that you can there get is. lost in and have just couple time. And then you've also got these vast expanses like the dining room, beautiful. I'm sure you've eaten in the dining room, you've seen that gorgeous wine oh, tower there. I, I, you know, I've worked my way through the wine tower, I've um, yeah, dined. <laughs> <laughs> many, many nights. Uh, I have been to some of the speciality restaurants as well. Yep, and those are just a small cover charge, but all you can eat and different, different uh, themes, different varieties. You're gonna... and, and I know with celebrities, they constantly um, introduce new shows. You know, their entertainment is a big, big thing for them, isn't it? And they're they're literally all around you in the theatre as well. It's not just an on-stage experience. They're up in the up in the flying around you. They're bunging into the crowd I've seen before as well. Yeah. It's, uh, it's they, they just have every aspect of the cruise. You know, right? They 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 strive to get as near as perfection as possible. This uh, the lovely adult areas, of course, as well. I always find you know with a celebrity ship. You will always find a quiet spot if you want to, but then if you want, you know, a bit more hustle and bustle, there's always some, you know, loads happening throughout the ship. And massive savings tonight, I should point out as well. Um, just looking here, actually, if you upgrade to the, um, the ocean view, just for a couple of hundred pounds more, less than a couple of hundred pounds, actually, you will get a free classic uh, drinks package as well, which is really good with Celebrity. And... As an exclusive offer with Planet Cruise, you will get, you can choose either free parking, that would be worth a lot actually for 10 nights, or half pi uh, price, rather, gratuities. Let me get my teeth in, half price gratuities. So the choice is yours now. Anyway, let's have a look at that. It's a really nice one actually. So from Southampton, so again, I mean, it's so nice when you cruise out of Southampton. Um, much luggers as you like, and your cruise starts straight away, doesn't it? Absolutely. You've got uh, a sea day straight down to Lisbon. Bearing in mind this is the end of summer, We've, we're having nice weather at the moment, but you never know, it might change next week. It's a bit variable at the moment, but heading down this far south, it's kind of almost guaranteed sunshine when you get down to uh, Lisbon and the Canaries. So Lisbon, you uh, dock very close to the city. There are a couple of places you can dock. Both are either walking distance or a short bus ride, and the cruise line will provide the uh, bus for you. You've got an overnight on board there, which I absolutely recommend heading out into the city for. Uh, things to do, you can head to the Tower of Belém. You can also just wander around the streets. The shopping is excellent in Lisbon. And make sure you have a pastel de nata in, uh, in Lisbon. The, the little custard tarts that oh, you get. Oh, yes. To... Keith used to talk about the custard tarts. Oh, yeah. gorgeous. Absolutely. Are they really that good? Really, 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 really nice. <laughs> uh, now, a day at sea. Now, honestly, the ship is so beautiful. You'll, you'll cherish those days at sea. They, they are the most beautiful days. I mean, sometimes they've got big wicker beds on some of the decks as well. You can, honestly, you can chill. You can just, just relax. 
read a book, listen to music, sunbathe, but we're making our way to some warmer temperatures actually, aren't we? Absolutely, and after all those custard tarts, <laughs> why not <laughs> scale a mountain and go to Mount Tady for nice uh, views over the, uh, over the bay. And you've also got these uh, gorgeous beaches that you're seeing here in the Botanical Gardens. There's plenty to do, I mean, I was, you know. When I first went to Tenerife, I'll be honest, I only ever went to the really kind of busy tourist areas, but then I had some friends stay there for, for a month. And actually, when you go high up into the mountains, it's beautiful, isn't Gorgeous, it? Gorgeous, yeah. yeah. Head out of the resorts and you've got the space to yourself, pretty much. Now, talking of, of, of beautiful, I love my gardening. Uh, I love plants. And Funchal Madeira is, is, is outstanding for right. botanical life. It's kind of one that people forget about in the Canaries. They either go to Lanzarote or Tenerife on the package deals, but Funchal doesn't really get touched by the Brits that much. No, that's oh, a it... wonderful place. Absolutely. And you can also scale another mountain there, Pilo de Aredo, which is uh, the highest peak on the island, 1,000 metres above sea level, as you can see there. Uh, gorgeous views of the whole island, literally 360 from that point. And Madeira, they, they get sort of very, I always think the temperatures are kind of like eternal spring. They've always got a really nice climate virtually all year round, haven't they? Absolutely, yeah. That's um, right. Now another day at sea, just enjoy the, enjoy the ship, enjoy the multi-award winning eclipse. But we're making our way to La Coruña, Spain, aren't we? Yes, La Coruña, you can uh, head to, it's actually just a nice one. You dock very, very close to the town, so you can just walk straight off, head into town, soak up the atmosphere there, or you've got the Tower of, Bella, uh, the, uh, Tower of Hercules sorry, that you're seeing there in the distance. Uh, that's actually the lighthouse that's uh, protected thousands and thousands of ships over the years, but just a nice vantage point to see the coastline as well. And then a final day at sea. And I remember being on a celebrity ship, I think it was Eclipse, and the uh, cruise director said, we're going to rock till we dock, and seriously, we, we did. We had a great time to be in hours <laughs> in the morning. <laughs> I think she was called Sue Denham, the... Uh, Sue Denning, yeah. Yeah, that's She's still a, yeah, there. She's yeah, still yeah. Well, she did, so, yeah, and she kept the ship alive, believe me. Uh, to the early hours of the morning. Now, the beautiful staterooms, um, they really are so well designed, you, you really appreciate that. And um, we have got, you know, all, all of the staterooms from the inside, the ocean view, the balcony, concierge class aqua, they are all absolutely breathtaking. Now, the drinks package, and I, I really do know this drinks package very well. That sounds bad, but I do. It's, it's my favourite drinks package because celebrity, well, they include, I love a, a coffee, I love coffee, and they include all of the specialty coffees, and they are wonderful. So just go back to that. All of your um, bottled water, so if you need water to take off with you um, in the various ports, you can do that. Uh, Non-alcoholic cocktails and smoothies. Selected beers, spirits, wines and cocktails. And a lot of the spirits, they, they're really good. These are branded spirits. Oh, absolutely. You know? Yeah, they, they, they say it's up to a certain level, but you're already going into brand names that you buy in the shops, you know, the ones yeah. you'd find in bars back home. Yeah, they, they are there. And they're a huge selection, say, of... of uh, of wines, alcoholic <laughs> beverages, and you will get the drinks package if you upgrade to the Ocean View. And the Ocean View is £190 more, so actually it does work out really good value. Absolutely, and you know that, that drinks package, if you were to buy it yourself on board, it would cost you around $80 per, per, per couple, sorry, per day. Yeah, so, so you know, that's obvious. Go for the Ocean View, or you might even, you know, I've done concierge class a few times, and I've done all sorts of celebrity actually, but you get a few extras here as well, things like a priority check-in, um, things like your welcome gift, and for the first time ever next year, I've booked Aqua Class, um, and oh my word, you'll, you'll get things like that, your own restaurant, the Blue Speciality Restaurant, complimentary access to the Persian Garden, which is just beautiful, you know, I'm doing that because I want to get health in the new year, so there's quite a few health benefits with the spa and things. I was like, don't laugh. Sorry. I'm trying. It's, <laughs> that's my first step. <laughs> good, good on you. Uh, and um, don't forget as well, the offer tonight. We always get great deals with celebrities. We've got plenty of people who've got a brilliant relationship with celebrities. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So uh, a free classic drinks package when you book Ocean View and above. Uh, the Planet Cruise exclusive. Now, you will get, if you book with us right now, you'll get free parking which would add up to quite a lot for 10 nights, or half price gratuities on an ocean view or above. And also, um, if you wanna just make things easy, maybe you don't live near Southampton, well, why not stay in the Meehan Valley Marriott the night before from only 89 pounds per person? And that will include all of your parking and return port transfer as well. Oh, I forgot you can actually book this one online as well, can't you? Yes, absolutely. Yes, you can. The, uh, the Meehan Valley you'd have to call us about, but the, the cruise, absolutely, you can book that with us. Now, online. If you watch the show regularly, we always, generally speaking, finish with a biggie, a real biggie. 
And we're going to be going over to Alaska. But there's lots of different elements with this, with Holland, America. Honestly, you've, you've got to stay tuned for this one. So we fly from London to Vancouver and we're then transferred from the airport to a four-star hotel. For one night, I should say, in a four-star hotel. We do come back to Vancouver a little bit later on. Um, so you get a little taste of there, but we are coming back, aren't we? Yeah, that's right. That's just part one. <laughs> but we're then going to be on board the beautiful ship, the MS Volendam for seven nights. Keith sends his love, but he's, he's always on cruise ships. And here he is to tell you more about, of course, Holland America Line. Amidst the huge choice that's now available within cruising, Holland America Line offers an experience that's quite unique. It's premium class, but not pretentious. It's elite without being expensive. And with a proud history stretching back over 140 years, Holland America Line is perfect for the discerning traveler who loves to see the world from the comfort of an elegant hotel at sea. Known for the most extensive menus at sea, served gracefully in elegant restaurants. Thank you. Holland America Line offer a plethora of excellent dining options. In the main dining rooms, guests may choose from fixed or flexible dining times, and the service is always gracious and the menu both varied and delicious. Fans of Italian food will salivate at the offerings from Canaletto's, and everyone will enjoy the steak and seafood of the wonderful Pinnacle Grill. Enjoying a few drinks in the company of friends, both old and new, is one of the highlights of any cruise. For some, it might be a glass of bubbly or a tasty martini in mix, whilst for others, a pre-show tipple in the ocean bar will be just what the doctor ordered. Whichever location you choose, expert bartenders will remember your preferred cocktail or they'll help you discover a new favourite. Holland America's latest trump card is On Location, which brings the ports you visit alive through regionally inspired cookery classes, artisan workshops and local entertainment. You can experience steel drum lessons in the Caribbean or Tai Chi classes in Asia or a legendary ketchup dance in Bali. The evenings on board glitter with so many choices with live music, thrilling stage shows and the ever popular Dancing with the Stars at Sea program. Bored? <laughs> Not a chance. It's about getting the little things right, and nowhere is this more obvious than the accommodation. All Holland America Line staterooms have premium plush Eurotop mattresses, 100% Egyptian cotton bed linens, extra fluffy towels, and deluxe terry bathrobes. Recent additions include innovative massage shower heads, lighted magnifying makeup mirrors, and stylish hair dryers. And of course, your complimentary fruit basket. <laughs> <laughs> you can hear that crunch, can you? Now, Holland America are five star, of course, and this is a, an exclusive and brand new offer. Um, Chris was telling me that the, the, the offer that we had for this year, 2016, completely sold out, didn't it? Absolutely. Yeah. And uh, people straight away booked on for 2017, so this one's already doing well. Yeah, so if you've got your eye on this, don't leave it too long. Anyway, there's, there's so much. So, we're on board. Where are we going to be cruising to first of all then, Chris? So first of all, it's actually a sea day, although it's called the Inside Passage. The Inside Passage is a, an inlet of land. Uh, it's kind of an archipelago, lots of different islands going through. But don't think it's a boring day at sea. It's absolutely wildlife everywhere. Scenery everywhere, mountain views. You never see open sea. It's just all animals and wildlife. So it's, some great photo opportunities there. <clears throat> absolutely. And on board, they've got the naturalists talking the whole way through. So if they spot anything off the uh, port or starboard side, they'll come onto the microphone and tell you all about it. So you can run and take a look and bring your camera as well. We then head on to Tracy Armfjord and Juno. Juno is the port. Tracy Armfjord is what you sail through. Again, another beautiful fjord, as you're seeing oh, here. Wow. <clears throat> that, uh, that particular glacier there, the Sawyer Glacier, runs for miles and miles back into Canada. Can you believe that? It's God. been going for, for <laughs> since the Ice Age. It's, uh, They're so blue, behind. aren't they, when you see them? Brilliant blue, yeah. absolutely. Uh, Juno, you uh, stop there for the day. Juno, there's absolutely plenty to do. I definitely recommend the whale watching. In some places, it's actually guaranteed, and, and you get your money back if you don't see anything. Really? <clears throat> absolutely. You've also got the Mendenhall Glacier in Juno. And then you head on to Skagway, another, another nice port. Again, all of these ports, you've got such a variety of options. You've got sea tours, helicopter tours. Uh, there's little plane visits you can visit. And even just hiking trails, maybe you don't want to do an excursion one day, just head off into the mountains and, and uh, see the beautiful scenery from high up. Absolutely gorgeous. Glacier Bay is a, is a sea day, but again, stunning, stunning scenery. Definitely, definitely, definitely bring a camera. Uh, the camera shop on board uh, does very well during these trips. I'm as sure. you can imagine, <laughs> zoom lenses sold uh, 10 to the dozen. Uh, and then on to Ketchikan for some more sightseeing in the area as well. 
On the way back down, you go to the inside passage again. If you hadn't seen enough bears and whales, this is your last chance before uh, heading back to Vancouver. Now, that's, that's kind of part one, actually, of this epic journey, because we then disembark the MS Volendam, and we're back in Vancouver, of course, uh, in a four-star hotel for two nights. Yes, that's so right. So we get a bit more time this time, don't we? Absolutely, and the, the, we always choose centrally located hotels as well. The port is very, very central to downtown, and the, the hotels that we use are usually a few streets away from that, so you can walk everywhere. You don't need public transport. Now, something that I've always wanted to do, Chris, is the Rocky Mountaineer train journey. And that's what we're going to do now, isn't it? Absolutely. I, I'm, I'm fascinated by this. My, my brother's really into trains and it's kind of, this, this, you know, a bit of it's rubbed off of me. But this is, this is an iconic journey, isn't it? It's, it's definitely a once in a lifetime. It's on, it's on people's bucket list, I'm sure. Now, uh, if you're familiar with the Rocky Mountaineer, they used to have three tiers of service. They've now whittled it down to the best two, and actually the most popular two, the Silver Leaf and the Gold Leaf. Silver Leaf is what we're selling in the package here, although it's uh, very uh, inexpensive to upgrade yourself to Gold Leaf, which is uh, uh, definitely worthwhile. You get the, the proper dome rail car in Gold Leaf. You do get a, a dome rail car in uh, Silver Leaf as well. It's just a slightly different design. The Gold Leaf is two tiers, the silver leaf is one, uh, and the um, dining is actually downstairs in the gold leaf. So you get your um, observation car upstairs and then you head downstairs for dinner. Wow. In the silver leaf, it's served at your seat. But you get these wonderful views throughout the journey. Oh, yeah, and as you're heading through from Vancouver to Calgary, it just gets better and better and better. It starts flat and it just gets more and more mountainous. God. And if you do want to upgrade, it starts at 349 per person for the gold leaf, but you are getting the silver leaf service included. Now, there's still so much more. So, where were we again? We're on the train. So yes, We've gone to Kamloops, is that right? First night is Kamloops, so you've got the whole day heading to Kamloops. Uh, you stop over there, the next day you head on from Kamloops to Banff. Now in Banff, what we've included here is a helicopter tour up to the summit of one of the mountains. Really? Can you believe that? Wow. I mean, it's such a good price, this package, and you're getting wow. so much and, more than just a train ride. And it's all worked out for you as well. You know, you don't have to, I mean, it'd be a nightmare to try and plan this yourself, wouldn't Absolutely, it? Absolutely, yeah. Know where to start. But this is all put together exclusively by Planet Cruise, and they are excellent at this. So we, we've done our helicopter tour, which, you know, then, and we've then gone over to Calgary, is that right? That's when you head on to Calgary. Now, all the way through, you've had four-star hotels. If you go to uh, Gold Leaf Service, you've got the option to upgrade to uh, five-star as well. Talk to our team about that. We all know about the uh, Rocky Mountaineer package. We've even got um, staff and that have... Yeah, uh, gone there now, themselves. Now, what are we looking at now? <laughs> so this is the final part. This isn't part of the train ride. This is uh, <laughs> the uh, Calgary Stampede. This is the place that uh, everybody wants to go to on this package. It's the real highlight of the tour. The Calgary Stampede happens once a year. Over a million people visit it every year. It, it's absolutely worldwide famous, and it's one of the rodeos uh, in Calgary. Wow. Uh, we've included a two-day thrill package as well, so you're not just heading over and sorting yourself out. We've got tickets and actually a nice central view ticket. Yeah, I was going to well. say they're really good, aren't they? Absolutely. The north or south centre level, if you're familiar with the, uh, the area. We've got the day ticket for the rodeo. We've also got the evening show ticket sorted in the same area as well. Uh, that's kind of more... The evening show is, is a bit more um, of a, an entertainment spectacle. They've got more music acts music on. Things, yeah. yeah, that's right. They've got uh, country and western acts as well. Uh, the real highlight, though, is definitely the chuck wagon race, which is kind of the um, uh, it's chariot racing, if you like. And then they finish it all off with the fireworks show at the end. Now, we've uh, not only the, all the, with the tickets, we've also included uh, an embroidered golf shirt, uh, the tote bag, and you also get discounts in all the shops as well. Wow, I mean, it, it, it is uh, an amazing trip of a lifetime isn't it and again i know you know this sold out for 2016 a very similar package this is brand new for next year um, and exclusive as well so just to break down this a, a little bit more you've got the three night stay in vancouver uh, two days all daylight journey on board the rocky mountaineer in the silver leaf service as well then you've got the calgary stampede the two-day thrill package uh, you've got the one night stay in kamloops the the night stay in banff and the three nights day in Calgary as well. Um, and the helicopter sightseeing tour as well. Yeah, just to yeah, throw it in. Just to throw Why it in, not? yeah. Um, <laughs> brilliant deal tonight. And it's all planned out perfectly by Planet Cruise and their expert team. Brand new and exclusive. So uh, your chance to join the all um, rodeo action 
at the Calgary Stampede. Uh, and they are, don't forget, uh, reserved grandstand seating tickets for those and the evening shows as well. Return flights based on London Gatwick and that amazing journey on board the Rocky Mountaineer there. Brilliant, I think, brilliant finish to the show. And don't forget, oh, we've got to mention, if you like the brochure, you don't need to ring us for that. You can actually go on our website and request a brochure just by clicking on like, so we'd love to send that to you. Right, as ever... We've had such a busy show, um, it's been lovely to be with you, but let's just recap, let's go back to the beginning. Now, we started off with cruise and maritime. Uh, this is a, a buy one, get one half price. We've, we've factored that into the price on the screen, so it worked out, it now is 475 per person. Huge savings, over 490 off the brochure price, and a single special there, starting at just 779 for our solo passengers. We then moved on, I think the next deal is the best that I personally have seen for Abu Dhabi and Dubai. It's a brand new price reduction. The Vision of the Seas, Chris said, was going to be refurbished before this. So yeah, just a few months prior. Yeah. Right, so it should be, you know, should be all revitalised. And it works out under £74 per person per night there. Great single special starting at 859 as well. We then had Norwegian Cruise Line on board the Norwegian Jade. Uh, again, she will be refurbished just before you cruise. 899. Actually, the price came down on this one for my original notes, actually. 899. A free upgrade to all inclusive drinks as well. Again, that would save you so much money over 11 nights. And I think this is brilliant for those of you that maybe don't want to travel too far uh, abroad, you know, and a deposit only tonight. We then had six star. Absolute luxury with Silver Sea Cruises on board the Silver Wind. Only around about 300 passengers, virtually one to one in terms of uh, staff and uh, passenger ratio. And a free Fortnum and Mason champagne and chocolates gift box for everyone that books this. And if you do book before the 20th of September, you'll get the free Bulgari gift set as well. And uh, that also includes the three night stay in the Four Star Hotel in Barbados. We did have, don't forget, also from. Silver Sea, the, uh, the brilliant seven night cruise and stay for the 13th of December. And that's a taste cruise and a Miami stay. We uh, moved on to Celebrity, five star modern luxury on board the Celebrity Eclipse there. And that's a 10 night Lisbon, Tenerife and Madeira cruise from Southampton. I would upgrade to um, Ocean View, and then you get the classic drinks package and you also get free parking or half price gratuities. And then finally, you've just seen it. The amazing 69th Calgary Stampede Rocky Mountaineer and Alaska Glacier trip there as well. Do you know, I want to say a massive thank you to Chris. We've not seen him for quite a while, but he's not lost his touch. Why, thank you. <laughs> yeah, listen, <laughs> great to have you back on the show. Lovely to see you too. And we'll see you very soon, I hope. I'll be around. Yeah, we miss you on the show, we really do. Um, you'll see me, you'll see me again um, next week, of course. But thank you, and don't forget, if you've never cruised, book with Planet Cruise. You won't regret it. You'll be hooked for life. I'll see you soon. Loads more coming up after this.